I don't know if it's just me, but after that change, the oil change and the filter, it's running a lot smoother than what it was before. What's up YouTube, I'm back in the still standing garage and today I'm working on the 83 Regal. I'll be replacing the tranny oil, the filter, and also the gasket. I already have the car on jack stands, as you can see here, give me some room down there to work. So let's get it going, let's get the camera down there. Got the pan here, the front of the car is on this side obviously. Just wanted to give you guys an orientation of where you guys are facing. Cross members right here, and then obviously the pan, like I said. These bolts are actually half inch. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up all this oil that's here. There is a lot of oil that's down here. I wanna be able to handle this oil pan without getting too dirty. I mean, it's this is a dirty job, but still. I'll clean it off completely once I take off the pan. So the goal here is to take off the bolts in the front first. So the ones over here and then loosen up these here so that way I could bring the oil pan this way. I do have a catch can down here. You guys can't see it in the camera, but I am planning on bringing this down and having all the oil dump, down, dump in there. And then I'll take off the rest and then we'll bring down the oil pan. So that's the goal, let's go. So let's start taking off the ones in the front here half inch socket they shouldn't be on there too tight i'm gonna loosen them up first and then i'll take them off by hand okay so i already removed all the bolts around here in this this area here the ones in the back are still on there so i removed all those it's already dripping obviously so i'm gonna try to pull it a little bit and see if i can get some of that oil to come out or some more to come out probably have to get a screwdriver i really don't want to use a screwdriver because i don't want to start denting the, the pan i'll let that drip for a bit so it slows down and then i'll start removing more more bolts so that way i can start bringing it down some more uh maybe not removing them all the way but loosening them up enough to where i can actually make it go this way and not bend the lip here because if i pull it right now it might bend this lip here and I don't want that because then when I try to reseal it again with the new gasket, it's gonna drip all over the place. This pan wasn't actually leaking at all. I was I didn't have any transmission oil on the floor in the driver or even in here. Uh, the reason I'm replacing it is because uh, this oil has been in here for a very long time, over 16, 17 years. So I wanna replace it uh, now because I'm, I'm driving it again, right? So let's get to it. All right, the oil slowed down a bit but i really want to get this done so i'm not going to wait too long for that oil to there it goes don't want to get anything not too much onto the the floor here which seems like it's mostly catching all of it but there it's go there it goes it's going it's going let's see if i open it up some more Alright, slowing down, let's open it up some more. So that bolt is done. Move on to the next one. Let's see if I can move this one over here and see how much it would get. There it is. I'm getting more out of it. Alright, here, I don't want too much weight to be going on this side. Like I said, I don't want that lip to, to warp on me. Because then it's going to make it very difficult to make it seal properly. properly. So I'm gonna try to support it a bit until my shoulders say no more. And then we'll go from there. I need a damn lift in here. That's what I need. Who wants to buy a G-Body? I could put a lift with that money. If everybody wants to buy a G-Body. I'm joking, I'm not selling any of these. I'm just joking, guys. Last bolt. nice let's dump this in there hopefully i got the right gasket for this let's see how stuck this this one is okay nice so the last time this oil was replaced was actually when i rebuilt the tranny so the tranny has been rebuilt a very long time ago. i think it was in 2004 2005 um so this guy who replaced the the tranny Look, he didn't use any gasket maker or anything like that, which the way that I was taught was to use a little bit of um, 
gasket maker to make sure it sticks on there pretty good but look at this look how nicely this is coming off i'm barely pulling it and it's already coming off that's beautiful that for me it's beautiful that's how it's supposed to be done no wonder this one wasn't leaking at all and like i said he didn't tighten them up too much which is perfect that's nice very nice let me see if i can pull the rest i can't reach over there there it is all right you two i already removed the pan from here and i put it out there time to remove the filter here this is going to be a 3 8 uh socket 3 8 head they shouldn't be on there too tight either and they're not so take this this one off pretty simple get a little bit more oil out of it the gasket actually stayed up here this little piece right here all right, I already dumped out all the oil that's in here. Let me get rid of this gasket. I'm gonna clean this up. But like I said, the mechanic that rebuilt my tranny, he didn't use any gasket maker. There's none here and there's none on the transmission itself. So I'm gonna try to do the same thing. But the only difference is that uh, the gasket that I'm gonna use is gonna be rubber. Let me see if that works out. We're gonna find out. So let me clean this up. Let's go install the oil filter on the tranny. Let's go. So the filter and gasket kit that I'm gonna use is from Power Torque. Let's open it up. That's the part number right there. I'll still put it in the description of this video so you guys can check that out if you guys need that. So here's the, the gasket. We'll get to that later. Uh, I wanna put on the filter right now. Let me take it out. I'll show you guys what that looks like. Here's the filter. New gasket came with it to install the filter. It's pretty much exactly the same thing as the one that I took off. To hold the gasket in place is I am gonna put the, the gasket on here and then run the bolts through it like so. Hopefully you guys can see that right there. It's real tight down here. So I'm gonna try to put it in here like this so I could try to keep the gasket in place. You guys can see that, yeah, you guys can see that and then try to install it this way so that way the gasket stays there we're gonna find out real quick if this is gonna work out for me or not there it goes one in the next one is on there so that's on there so let's start tightening this up doesn't have to be that tight it wasn't on there real tight but also we don't want this to come off when we're hopping the car and all that vibration. Notice how I'm not grabbing the, the end of the ratchet, I'm grabbing the head of it, because if I grab the end of it, it's gonna be more leverage, and then I'm gonna put it on there too tight, and we don't want that. So there it is, I'm okay with that, I feel comfortable the way it is. So check this out YouTube, I wanted to show you. This is the gasket obviously. Now, I was trying to figure out how I was gonna hold the gasket on there right to be able to put it on there without it moving because i'm not using any gasket maker so the bolt actually will hold the gasket on there as you can see that right there it won't come out so as i put it on which i'll show you right now the bolts i'm gonna put all the bolts on here and they will hold down the gasket in place so that way when i try to put it up there it will stay in place and i'm not gonna have any issues let me see if i can show you right here so you see that right there? The bolt stays in there. Do this side right here. Same thing. I did clean up these bolts already, the bolt heads, because they were really oily and greasy from sitting there for so long. Check this out. See that right there? So I could only imagine as I'm holding it up, trying to hold the gasket and having it move around on me which that's what happened in the past and i would actually i would actually start pinching the gasket because i wasn't in the right hole so let me put these on and then i'll show you and there it is all the bolts are on there they're holding up the gasket as you can see here there's some areas that's gonna be like that, but once once I put it on there and I snug it up, everything's gonna be pretty good and hopefully it doesn't leak. Let's go. All right, let's put this one back on. Put it on there. We'll try to tighten up 
the corner bolts so we can get some started. Well, not tighten up, just get them started. Just get one of these over here on there. All right, these are torqued down to 13 foot pounds. So I'm gonna torque each and every one of them. So that was good. I'm gonna do a cross pattern all the way down until they're all tightened. And then we're gonna go and add some oil on it. Let's go. All right, YouTube, it's time to add that transmission oil. I'll be using the Valvoline Max Life Full Synthetic Dextron 6 Transmission Fluid. So I have that there. I do have my repair manual from Haynes, and I have it on the transmission page. I have a Turbo 350, and it says routine fluid change is going to be two and a half quarts. Now, if you don't know what transmission you have, you can't identify the 250 or the 350. Check out this video up here. I'll put a card up there. It's a two minute video to help you identify what transmission you have because both look exactly the same, the 250 and the 350. So check it out. Let's go add the soil. Start adding this bad boy right here. Hopefully it doesn't leak. We're gonna check it out in a bit after I add two quarts. And then uh, the way you check these uh, uh, to check the level is the car has to be warmed up, up to temperature. And then you can check the transmission oil and make sure that the, the level is correct. <laughs> All right, let's check down there, see if there's any leaks so far. Obviously, I still need to drive it. See if we can even see down there. Yeah, I don't see any leaks at all. I mean, I have a mess down here from uh, from changing it out, but I need to clean all that up still. I don't see any leaks yet. I need to drive it, but I wanted to see right now if there was any immediate leaks. Let's keep it moving. transition so I'm enjoying the drive right now through the streets I'm trying to record as I as I'm driving but it's uh it's running real good I'm gonna check the oil when I get home let's go all right YouTube so back at the house now the car drove real nice I did go ahead and pump gas in it and like I said I drove it around here in Fontana and it was shifting real nice really like the way that it was it was driving one thing I do want to clear up, but like I said earlier, the book said that it was two and a half quarts for a routine fluid change, but I ended up using about four quarts. So I used the full quart here, and then I kept adding and adding until the dipstick told me that, you know, it was full. So when I used to do the fluid changes on the 78 here, and even on the Rigo here from what I remember, and I had another another uh, Monte, it was an 82 Monte. When I changed the, the oil on those, I remember it was about four quarts. But I was, you know what, I was thinking, you know what, let me let me add it how the book says and see what happens here. And obviously the book was wrong. Unless I'm reading it wrong, one of you guys could probably clear that up for me. Oh, and before I forget, there's no leaks down there. The transmission is not leaking, so that rubber seal, the gasket really worked out, torqued them to 13 pounds, 13 foot pounds, and it worked out real good, no leaks at all. Let's go. Oh. 